Hi, I'm Sherry. I want to welcome you to my studio today. I have a palette today which is emerald green mixed with a tiny bit of phthalo green, pearling red mixed with a tiny bit of Hansa yellow and Hansa yellow, and then I have mixing white which has a tiny bit of <laughs> Hansa yellow in it because I didn't clean my palette knife good enough. Oh, I also have some Gamsol in a spray bottle. If you saw the earlier videos on this piece when I was thinking it would be a landscape, you'll know that all this green came from um, an oil stick. So I've tried to mix a comparable color. Just laying on the paint, which I clearly did not mix up well enough. And then I'm going to try to wudgie it into the sides of the wood. Wudgie is an official, official term. I'm going to try a different scraper this time. These are from KitchenAid. Let's see what they work like. I'm liking the texture around the wood. You have to be careful about adding the red. Oh, that's too dark. Needs way more, way more yellow in it. Oh, it's got green. It's going to turn brown. Shit. <laughs> oh, this is the one of the problems with working wet on wet. If you don't clean your tools, it'll work. Okay, let me try a little bit of lighter green, a lot of lighter green. I don't have a lot of room on my tabletop today because I had to empty out the guest room, move stuff up off the first three feet of space all around my house because my grandbaby is coming in a few days. And so a lot of stuff is stored on the other side of my desk. I usually put works that are drying over in the guest room <laughs> to dry. Yeah, those are a little too hard for me. I think I'll try this one, but. You know, I'm 
having a hard time today. When you don't mix up your paints right, it just screws everything up. I did not get as much blending in with my cold wax as I thought or wanted. Everything's got little lumpies in it. And those little lumpies, when dragged, make lines. And because I don't have enough I don't have a lot of space on my desktop. I'm using an extra amount of paper towels to clean off my tools. Normally, I wipe them off on two or three other pieces of oil paper so that I have a basis for another painting one day. There we go. This is actually looking quite yummy. Really liking the vertical lines. There we go. Oh my god, that's way too much. Don't want that much. Kind of defeats the whole purpose. There we go. Why is it I can never find a squirter that works the same twice in a row? I'm gonna soak up a little bit of these puddles and I'm going to drip on a little bit of Citrusolve, which will cut through the dry paint as well. And I'm not really looking for that, but since I can't seem to get what I want out of the Gamsol, <laughs> well, out of the squirty bottle, I'm rambling, sorry. Hating how wasteful of paint I'm being. Ooh, that was not good. It lifted up the wood. Okay, this is the first horizontal strokes I've done. Come back and wipe them out a little bit. Well, if you're going to tape down your thing, it helps if your tape sticks. <laughs>
Let the green around. I'll come back and color the sides with probably black oil paint. Should have taped them, but it was a color I didn't like to begin with. All right, you can see some of the writing I did a long time ago in there. Some of the paper, some of the wood, some of the green stenciling, a smidge of that um, watermelon colored stenciling, maybe too much. Maybe knock a little bit more of the paper back. There we go. Ah, hate it when I get a little goober. good for now I'll save my palette and see what happens not sure what happened my camera gave me some weird message server error didn't know it had a server anyway all that's left on this is the signature and I am probably going to do that with a pen thanks for watching my video Please leave it any questions or comments you might have and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you'll subscribe.